If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the top most underrated players in Madden 21. Now, in terms of, in terms of most underrated, you guys know how I do this. I factor in price as well as stats because... In 91 overall, it's like 50k, let's just say, which isn't a thing. He's going to be underrated. Even if his stats are only okay, it's good because he's still significantly cheaper than every other player at that position or uh, overall. But in terms of a guy like, you know, a 93 overall or 91 overall card that's really good, but he's 200k, it's like, okay, he's not underrated. He's fairly valued for his overall. So I'm pretty much be doing it based on overall and price and kind of how the ratio goes there. But guys, before we get into the video, as you guys do, and if you want to join the Poodle Squad, comment down below Poodle Squad, like the video, and of course, turn on that noti bell. Once you do all those things, you'll have a chance to be shouted out. And as usual, guys, I'm trying to get new people each and every video. So for today's Poodle Squad shout out, we have Arthur Mandy. Shout out to Arthur Mandy for being a part of the Poodle Squad, man. Appreciate you for showing support each and every video. Thank you so much. And as well, guys, if you like any of these underrated players in this video, head over to my reserve down below. You can buy the players directly on there. You can buy training. You can buy coins. And, you can, and they're all discounted right now. So take advantage and make sure to use code Poodle for an additional 15% off. Now, let's head into this. Let's get into the list. Now, again, these are in no specific order. I try doing them in order, but it's just tough for an underrated video like that. Like, who's more underrated than who when I like all these guys on the list? So, it, it, gets, it gets a little tougher there, but guys... Coming in at number seven, which I do have them at a seven for this one, because these are the ones that I, I don't want to like force anyone onto the list just for the sake of making the list longer. If I really feel like I didn't find anyone else that I think should be on here, but for the first one, we got Aaron Donald. Now, you might be wondering how Aaron Donald's on an underrated list. Well, it's simple. He's 70k, 75k, for one of the better edge rushers in the game, and that and you have to remember this too, right? He is going to get an upgrade so soon. Like he's going to get an upgrade probably in most feared. And if he gets an upgrade in most feared, he's going to quickly rise the ranks to being the best end in the game, which should see is basically skyrocket up above 100k. Not crazy, maybe like 110, but that's still a lot because that is almost like a third of his value to put on top of him again. And don't forget, he does have the Team of the Week power-up expansion, so he does get a plus one right now too. So you can't get him up to a 90 overall right now. And for being a 70k car that can go up to a 90 overall powered up, 90 overall have his 90 play rec, 89 block shed, 89 power move, power uh, he's gonna get all the thresholds with chems he's gonna be a threshold edge rusher that can also get edge threat and all it's gonna take is just to power him up and he called the card itself cost 70k and training is of course reduced right now and in price so i think it's a no-brainer guys i think donald's super underrated at this point people are kind of going to all those newer guys that we're getting right now but i'm a donald guy i'm sticking with donald now coming at number six is a guy that i can't believe i'm saying this it's bo jackson bo jackson's actually underrated now i'm gonna be honest with you guys i don't like him I'm keeping it 100% with you guys. I do not like Bo Jackson. I don't like him in Madden. I never have. I can't play with him. I don't know. The way I play, the way I, 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 I rub up against the tackles or, or the way I die between cards. I don't know what it is. The way I play super skinny or tight or whatever, Bo Jackson can't play that way. I don't know why it is other people play great with him. Bo Jackson just always hits someone. He always bumps into a tackle. He always gets caught up to. Like, there's always something. His body's just too big. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I suck with him. I'm good with really small backs. But Bo Jackson's underrated, 194k for a back that like, like people are falling in love with the Reggie Bush and all these other guys. I'm not gonna be wrong. I love Bush. I love all these other guys. But Bo still has the stats. If you power him up, he still has 92 speed. He's still one of the fastest backs in the game for a measly 195k. And you can probably snipe him for like 170, 160. It's a steal. He still has top tier agility, top tier excel, top tier speed, top tier trucking, top tier break tackle, six foot one, top tier weight. He still has all that. The only thing he's missing is is, is the price tag. Honestly, I think he's a great option. Now, this last guy I'm going to save to the end because I have him in my binder. I'm going to save him to the end. So I'm going to skip number five here, guys. Skip number five for a second. We'll come back. We're going to go with Reg number four. This other guy is a really great option. I'd have to show you him in, uh, in depth. Next, we have Tyron Matthews. Still, guys, 136K. And this card is just super good. He can play all over the field. Now, again, the speed might be a bit low for some of you guys. But again, he's, 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 uh, he's underrated regardless. Because he has speed, decent speed, excel, tackle, play rec, pursuit, man, and zone. And even hit power. If you do power him up, now here's the thing. I don't know if I recommend powering him up because you lose all these abilities. So if you have a ton of training, you have a ton of training, guys, go ahead and power him up. But what makes him so underrated is that you're going to be able to take this base card right here. Not spend a dollar or a cent coin, whatever, on training. Which does give you an advantage already because now you can just spend more on your team versus spending more on powering up. So it comes pre-built, three abilities, 
and one X factor. He comes with 87 speed. He comes as a threshold man and zone guy. Once you put lockdown a few tiers up on him, he gets 90 zone, 90 man, and 90 player. So you can play him in the box, a nickel corner. Uh, you can play him as a safety. Anywhere on the field you want to play him, you can man him up as a cornerback. And he's going to play great. Since he can play so many positions, he fits in just about anywhere when you need him for stamina reasons, just about anything. Which is why I like him. And of course, his abilities. If you, if you just subtract how much all that abilities and stuff cost, you're looking at probably the card itself only costing you 70, 60 cap after you reduce all the training. Next list, guys, we got Miles Garrett. Now, Miles Garrett falls in the same tier as Tyra Matthew. He does have, he's 140k, and he has ability. He has edge threat. That's what everyone wants. Fear monger, edge threat. He has some abilities. And as well, guys, he's a he's a four. He's he's literally a threshold power move guy. Off the rip. That's it. So you gotta know. He can threshold power move, edge threat, and 140k again. Subtract all that X factor and all that training and everything. The card only costs you like 70k once again. Not a bad value at all. I'm a big fan of that Miles Garrett. Next, now this is one of the newer guys. And I've been saying this for I think about a week now. This guy is super underrated. And let's see if I can find him based on the way I type that. It's Shaq Barrett. Team of the Week Shaq Barrett. I see him for 130 all the time, 125. If you can scoop him for that price, guys, it's a, it's a steal. Now, why is that? He's at 83 speed, 85 excel. That is one of the more athletic outside linebackers in the game. Minus Lawrence Taylor, of course. 88 tackles, great. 90 play rex, insane. 84 block shed isn't great, but not a lot of pass rushing outside linebackers right now can block shed and, pa and pass rush. And he's got 93 finesse move. That 93 finesse move, guys, if you power him up and chem him up, you can get that all up to like a 97 finesse move, which is just absolutely insane. Now, what what card for 140k or whatever it is, can do do you know that can get all the way up to being the best pass rusher in the game? Now let's compare for Lawrence Taylor, right? You compare him to Lawrence Taylor. Uh, right here. So Lawrence Taylor is five speed faster, but again, power him up. Let's say he's powered up. Let's compare them. Shaq Barrett's going to have a minus four speed, a minus five excel. Now we know this. That's why Lawrence Taylor is so crazy expensive. He's gonna have a minus sixteen strength. But look at this. Plus plus three tackle powered up, plus five play rec powered up, minus two block shed, minus thirteen power move. But the big difference here is the plus five finesse move. He's going to be a better pass rusher finesse move uh, wise then Lawrence Taylor is going to be a pass rusher power move wise now again he's not going to be as great as Lawrence Taylor by no means necessary but if you cannot afford Lawrence Taylor and the power but everything that comes along with being with Lawrence Taylor Shaq Barrett even as a stock option can pass rush pretty decently I think he's a, I think he's a pretty great card I honestly like him I don't rock with him because again I have Lawrence Taylor who's the Madden GOAT but the fact that Shaq Barrett can not I wouldn't say he's comparable but in what you're worried about with those cards it's not as far as many may think now, Reggie Wayne next. Reggie Wayne is going to be one of the best underrated cards on this list because you can get him for 160. Now, I've seen him as low as 135, 125, which is where I got him for on that market crash day. Now, the thing with him, it's simple. Power him up, right? I want this card powered up, in my opinion. I think you got to have it powered up. Powered up, he gets 90 speed, 89 jumping, 90 catch threshold, 87 catch in traffic, 88 spec catch, 89 short route running, 90 medium route running, 88 deep route running. Toss go deep on him. He now has a 90 deep running deep route running threshold. He now has the medium route running deep uh, sorry medium route running threshold. He now has the 90 spec catch threshold, the 90 catch threshold, and he has 90 speed. So he's gonna be one of the faster wide receivers in the game, while simultaneously being one of the best route runners in the game, while also being one of the best catchers in the game. And I'm pretty sure he's pretty decent after the job ball after the catch. Too. With 82 juke is modest, nothing special. 82 break tackle. He's going to be great at beating man, beating press, doing all that stuff. I really do like this Reggie Wayne, and of course, he's at a pretty cheap price, 166 or whatever it is right now. I, I could be wrong on that. I might have misread that. But regardless, he is, where is it? Oh, I wasn't I wasn't too far. Oh, it's 164. All right. Uh, yeah, so you can always snipe him out, guys. You know, fill, filter by Wayne uh, quality, 89 to 90 or 90 to 91, whichever it is. Filter by 90 to 91 and just sit there and just find him. Great guy. Now let's go to my binder and go to that final player I was talking about. That final player is going to be Micah Hyde. Free safety for the Buffalo Bills with a power-up card. You don't need the full one, and I'll explain to you why. So the full one, of course, is an LTD, and he's going to cost a pretty penny. But this card right here, it's going to cost you, let's see how much training. To get up to the 89 overall, which is what I'm concerned with, it's going to cost you 3,200 training now. I don't know what the price of training is right now. It could be like 25 per. It could be like 30 per. Regardless, it's not that expensive. It probably costs, I'd say... I'm gonna give you guys a rough estimate here. I could be wrong, but I'd imagine it costs probably somewhere in the 70 to 90, 100K range. Don't take my word for it. I haven't checked the prices for the day on training, but regardless, you do that, right? This card now gets you 88 speed, great. 88 Excel, great. 
it gets you let's see we got i believe that's a 79 tackle nothing special on the tackling end it gets you a 71 catching and 80 jumping and 85 agility but here's where things start to get real good 80 change of direction which is decent it's going to get you 85 pursuit it's going to get you i believe 92 play rec if i'm not if i'm not if i'm not wrong here 92 play recognition it's going to get you let's see 86 man coverage and 92 zone coverage so so listen hear me out here you get 92 zone coverage 92 play rec and 86 man coverage you're going to be a top tier top tier zone guy with, with lockdown everything's gonna play like a 95 zone 95 zone on a power-up card he's going to be one of the most unstoppable guys to throw on in in a zone for only 80 to 100k of training maybe 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 less maybe more slightly i don't know i'm not far apart but i think he's one of the most underrated players on this list in general i think he might be the best one but it really just depends on what you guys want to factor and height and everything else you guys look into when you pick your safeties but that's it for the video hope you guys did enjoy you need to pick up any of these players guys you need the coins to pick up all of them if you want and get a great value head over to mutt reserve use code Puto 15 percent off take advantage of this kind of coins and the training of course from michael high you can buy it directly on there super safe to do so and yeah that's about it shout out to the poodle squad guys keep entering like noti bell and uh, comment down below poodle squad thanks so much for watching guys i'm out peace